Hey everyone, Mac is back. Today we're going to go keep continue with the Commander series and go with uh, Hector, Winton, and Russell, the three commanders that I'm going to talk about today and uh, give some ratings like I have been doing for the past uh, few times. So let's get to it. So the first commander we're going to talk about is Hector. He is awakened. He's one of the more recently uh, awakened commanders and he takes special medals to actually get his, um, you know, to get his awakening um, increased, which is a little bit difficult. And uh, the first thing we want to start with is the rebel leaders. And we're talking about rebel leaders. You're talking about him being a tank because that's kind of what he is, his defense. Uh, is base base defense I, I for why I have him written out at four stars and I don't believe I'm awakened at all no no awakening at all so just four stars and he's 8,000 defense um, plus his one skill adds another 5,700 so that's about 14 over 14,000 uh, defense which is really really nice um, his attack so that that actually it, it's been back and forth nerfed and buffed um, because of his defense being so high that's just to, it's very difficult to deal damage to him because if you consider you know say like Arya maybe does 10,000 damage while well, he's having you know 12,000 defense that's really not doing any damage so it's um, it doesn't always work exactly that way of course because um, you have uh, 53,000 health plus doing almost 6,000 per attack his uh, special or his uh, his you know going against a rebel leader he's really not that good um, you're not going to want him to do because he just doesn't do enough damage. He just uh, he's not a. Uh, when it comes to these rebel leaders, you want to do the damage, but you also want to do. Um, you want to be able to take the damage. So you need someone who's kind of maybe not as high as health, but does more damage. So it's kind of a mixed a mixed bag there. So I wouldn't recommend that um, at all. When it comes to the army, um, he's actually pretty good. I mean, if you look at him, his, uh, his if you just have him, if you don't have awakened, his, uh, his spear attack is 40%. His spear defense is 40%. Um, and he has enemy cav health reduction, um, which isn't too bad either, especially if you're going against, um, you know, some some cavalry. Uh, you, obviously, you don't. A lot of times, you don't know the front line, so this this could be actually a negligent whatsoever. But this, these two will always be in there. And then his, uh, when you um, have him awakened, um, you also get some um, some health as well. I believe this will increase to about 18 or 20 percent, right around there, or something like that. Maybe slightly more. Maybe it's like 24 percent. But uh, it's that's. It's a nice little bonus to actually have. I'm sorry, that's. I'm, I, I apologize. There's no, there is no health in here. This is the cap health reduction as well. So they're they're continuing with this. They're not giving you the health. Uh, but yeah, so it'll, this adds it on there a little bit as well. So you'll be able to increase the defense and the uh, spear attack. So if you are using a spear front line, this is spe uh, specifically. Uh, or sorry, spear back line. It's uh, it's pretty good with the with the attack, but it's also good for the spear front line with the uh, defense and then the reduction as well. Uh, can kind of boost it. Uh, then when talking about the awakening skill, um, this skill here is actually, in my opinion, not very good, and is really not worth upgrading past two stars just to get the uh, the tavern bonus that I'll talk about in a second. Uh, it says after the first time an army active skill damage is taken, so it's after the first time, so not the first time. So the first time that it happens, it's going to happen. They're they're going to do their damage right around like 11, 10 or 11 seconds, and in this instance, it's going to take to like halfway through the battle around 21 seconds where you're gonna actually gonna get this into play, where you're gonna immediately gain, uh, heal 15% of your troops, which isn't bad, but at that point, um, the battle's probably gonna be almost over at that point, and I mean almost over as in like, the damage has been dealt by the commanders already, you know, if you had Layla, she probably got her, you know, her um, skills off, and the other commander got their skills off, so this may not really, this isn't gonna be something that's gonna save you, um, but the uh, extra attack, 15% um, attack, and the the line lineups attack is 15%, which is isn't too bad as well. Um, that is a good increase for the rest half of the battle. But you really want a lot of these things at the beginning of the battle when you're most powerful, because when you start to really lose it, it won't matter if you're going to get an extra 15% health and a 15% attack or um, heal and attack. I'm sorry. So not really uh, too keen on that. Uh, to the training grounds we go, or the tavern. I'm sorry. And here in the tavern, he has leadership, and that's one of the bonuses that everybody wants to get, uh, along with the combat rate. So you're gonna want to get him. You're wanna gonna be able to increase him to two stars just for that reason. And then you just have the bonus um, of getting a little bit of aptitude and a little bit of finance as well. And when it comes to the training grounds, I think he's kind of sneaky good there. Um, you can put him for in specific formations of where I wouldn't use him for a uh, defensive formation just because you can counter him kind of easily, but 
in the training ground itself, I think it's actually, he's fairly decent with, because he has so much defense and he still, his health is really high and actually his, uh, you know, his, his skills here as well is he deals almost 7,000 piercing damage to targets in a straight line. So he could deal more than just to one target. And then he tax deal um, additional damage, double that damage if you're doing range targets. Now, when you're talking other spears or um, the bows, then you're, you're talking almost 14,000 damage uh, for his attack. So it's actually a pretty good attack and that's for everybody. That's for every single one So if it's in a straight line, you know, if they're all clumped up and you have them, you could hit three four targets at a time So that's pretty good. He gains more defense every um, for every ally defeated and that and it'll last to the end of the round So now you're talking even more defense So if you have him up front and say you put a weak commander up there um, That commander dies then he gains an extra 6,500 defense. So now we're talking what I said was 14,000 here 13 14,000 So now we're at 18 19,000 you know, we're, we're, we're approaching 20,000 defense, which if that happens, then how, I mean, it's going to be, it's going to be very difficult to, uh, to kill Hector, especially if you have some kind of healer behind him, or if you just put like Theon or, um, uh, Julian behind him, because if they get their active skills off, they'll just destroy, you know, entire lineups. Arya is another one as well. So he can be good in that respect. Um, and that's a really nice, um, you know, strategy to have. If you just put somebody really weak up front, have them die really quick. He gains that. He gains that um, as well. It says for every ally defeated. So every time an ally is defeated, if you get two allies that are defeated, then he gets even more. You know, even more uh, defense on top of that. I'm not sure you want to have two die because then it'll be uh, really, really hurting. Um, so Hector's attack um, has a 30% chance to reduce the target's attack by about almost 5,000, and it'll last for five seconds, which is a nice little bonus as well. So those uh, those um, uh, skills there are actually fairly fairly good in my opinion. But uh, again, he's, he's, he's just sneaky good. He's not really good. He's not a staple that you want to have in there, but he's good for uh, specific situations. Next, we're going to talk about Winton. And Winton is one of those that was in the uh, recruitment pass uh, probably a few months ago. And he is, uh, he's actually kind of, he's kind of a, a cool animation just to kind of throw that out there, I guess. But when it comes to his, um, against rebel leaders he's really not that good you're not going to want him in there his base damage is way too low he has a really high defense which is nice and high health but he just doesn't do enough even his, his skill when it gets off his armor uh critical is only 6200 so really really weak when it comes to um the yeah, rebel leader for just attacking uh one uh you know one uh, enemy when it comes to the army we look at his specialization he has cavalry attack at 30 percent enemy infantry health minus 15 percent and enemy army defense reduction of 10%. Not really that good at all. I mean, the cavalry attack 30%, yes, great. Enemy infantry health, if, if they don't have a infantry front line, which is, is the, most people do run infantry front. So that 15% minus health is actually not bad. And then defense reduction. So, I mean, that's gonna go off no matter what. So that's, that's uh, you're, you're at least getting bonuses for this, for the attack and for the def, uh, reduction and most likely for the health um, because most people have that infantry, but if they don't, then obviously you're not going to be uh, you're not going to be getting it. He is not awakened, so you're not going to get any uh, type of awakening for him um, at all. But uh, we'll go check out the tavern anyway. And in the tavern, you can see he has command and combat rate, so that's very nice to have the combat rate. He does take drink, which uh, I've, I have found that the drink is actually. Um, you can use it there's actually a, an abundance of it i should say and because i just upgraded him today and i got him to 55 and um because i kept going i kept looking at other commanders and i gotta say that there's a plenty of a, a plenty of drink to go around as you can see guys i have the uh just as a side note i do have a lot of um the jewelry left because there aren't a whole lot of uh commanders for jewelry i'm waiting to get sabrina gold and then i'm going to use it basically all on her um you know if you're free to play then you're probably going to be looking towards i would say uh um, Jean to do it because she's the other one who's uh, you could just keep upgrading which I have done that but she doesn't have anything really that great to, to worry about and as for the training grounds he is actually pretty good in the training grounds I you know I I'm, I would say you know I'm, I'm gonna do these uh, I'll do the ratings here but I, I kind of think he's like the three is a three or four when it comes to the training grounds and the reason I say that um, he's not a five because he's, he's again if you have um, if you have like a, a spear you just throw in front of them, they do it they do a lot of damage um, A lot of the spear commanders do so that may not work out so well so um, Kind of think that I mean if you look at a 54,000 health and he's again one of those massive defense is 9,000 9300 base 
um, you know, uh, defense there, and, but his attack is really low, so that's the problem with that. Um, the thing with his skill is, though, is he does a stun, which is really, really, really nice, but not go on top of that, he removes buffs. So if someone is being, you know, being buffed somehow, then boom, those, it just takes it right off. And that's a really, if you can get that off, and it's in a conical area, so it can actually do it with more than one of the uh, commanders, which is really nice. Uh, when attacking, there's a 30% chance to remove the enemy's buffs and then stun them for one second. So now he has a passive buff. So this is similar to um, Sheila in a sense with the passive with the passive stun. I, so I really like that passive that passive stun there. Plus an active stun, so that's good too. He reduces normal attack damage by 30%. So now he has a, an attack reduction of 30%. So he doesn't need the defense as much, but I mean, because now you're talking someone doing 10,000 damage, they're actually doing 7,000 damage per hit. So it's actually a lot less. Um, reduces heal effect by 43% for both allies and enemies. So that just tells you right there that, that if you have um, you know, if you have Simon or Sansa in there and they're healing, then they have a less, they're less likely to be able to heal very much because your, your reduction of, uh, 43%. So, um, his, uh, skills are, they're actually pretty good. And that's why I think in the training grounds, it's actually uh, pretty decent for him. And last but not least today, we're going to do Russell and Russell is a free to play commander and he is actually, um, as a free to play, really, really not that good as an overall commander, um, with his skills and abilities. Um, however, for uh, I'm going to go over him anyway because there are, he does have some value. Uh, I think like just like most commanders have value, maybe the only one is not is Robert. Is you know they just don't like Robert. But uh, so with um, Russell here, uh, for a rebel leader, he's really not that good. Uh, looking at his you know even his his stats here is I mean he'll he'll tank sure absolutely tank, but he does very very little damage. They have him as attack and a defense, but his attack is five thousand in gold. You know when he's maxed out so it's not really that great i mean i have all the equipment too so 5000 is really not that great um his thing his ability his skill is uh deals 4000 damage to target and restores um some health for five seconds and then the lower the health the better the effect so he does a self heal and he does a little bit of damage it's not very good um so and then the rest of his abilities don't really matter i'll go over them in a minute but they're not really relevant for rebel leaders so he's basically basically worthless for rebel leaders uh, when it comes to his uh, uh you know, for the army ability for PvP, um, he has a 30% cap attack. So if you're doing like, I guess, a rebel camp, then you know you might want him in there for uh, you know against a pure uh, infantry camp. But the construction speed and the stone production, he's more for uh, a farm uh, account than anything else. And so he doesn't, he's not awakened yet. They, I think they actually accidentally awakened him, and then uh, they bugged it so they had to go back to uh, you know not awaken him make putting him to sleep i guess uh but then we'll so we'll go to the tavern so in the tavern he's actually he's actually got combat rate so it's actually decent it's only a three star so it's not um like heavy combat rate but it's better than nothing there's some that are only one star or two star combat rate so he does have value there you can see i have him to 53 um and he and he takes meat too and there are there's, there's a few commanders that take meat uh that take the you know the food so um the, the food is actually um, not as as rare as you think. Um, you can actually do a couple commanders that have it, so you'll get him. You'll get him up in the 50s pretty quickly um, overall. So it's a pretty good little. It's a little boost for you. And as for the training grounds, I mean, if he's not really that good with uh, with rebel leaders, he's you know he's probably. I mean, and you know he's probably not good in the training grounds. He can, they're not. They're not both not completely relevant to each other, but in this case, it is. And he's so he's not very he's not very good when it comes to the training grounds either. I've never used him there. Um, he's just a you you may use him in the Weirwood Memories uh, if you really want to because he can tank a little bit. But even then, he's just it's nearly he's kind of worthless in that as well. I definitely wouldn't. And then getting back to his skills, we talk about the surprise here. Deals an additional uh, 4,400 damage to target uh, every nine attacks. I mean, if that was every like two or three attacks, then oh yeah, that'd be actually pretty decent. Reducing target strategy by 44 for five seconds, not very good. Um, armor, let's just see here, your damage taken is a 50% chance of restoring health. So there you go. So now he has more uh, self-heal. So he does have a self-heal, so he can, he can really tank. He's a very good tanker. He's similar to probably Haley in that sense, where he can just, she puts up a bubble, or I think it's uh, uh, Leana who does uh, something similar as well. And that adds 200 to command, which again, you're, you're talking about defense and uh, having defense is is not really the name of this game. It's, it's you're going to need some of it, but not that much. So I hope these uh, skip, these uh, evaluations are helping you kind of decide what you need to do, what you need to upgrade, and whatnot. And uh, I'm going to continue with the uh, until next time.